Good morning, children. Hope you all are fine at your home. So let's continue the next video of this chapter for heat. So here in this video, we will study about different kind of thermometers which we are using at our home or in the school in the laboratory. So as I told you in the previous um, video that there are many kind of thermometer, but the main kind of thermometer which we are using at our school or at our home that is the mercury thermometer based on celsius scale okay so mainly at school at the laboratory not in the school only in the different chemical labs the laboratory thermometer is used which is also a mercury thermometer based on the celsius scale and at our home also we are using the clinical thermometer doctors are also using the clinical thermometer that is also based on celsius scale having mercury as a thermometric liquid so let's start the laboratory thermometer. I will explain you now uh, what this thermometer consists of and how we should use the laboratory thermometer. So this one is the, the figure around um, side is given. This is the laboratory thermometer. Okay, you can see a glass stem. This one is the glass stem of laboratory thermometer in which there is a narrow capillary tube. You can see a very narrow capillary tube in the middle. Okay, which is extended to the thin glass bulb at the low portion lower portion you can see a very thin glass bulb okay and this glass bulb along with this some of the portion of narrow capillary tube consists a black very shiny liquid and that is called dry and pure mercury okay mercury is used as a thermometric liquid as i told you earlier also so here in laboratory thermometer also you can see a black and very shiny liquid that is the mercury mercury is used here and because mercury can change its uh, size on the basis of temperature on the basis of increasing or decreasing range of temperature it can change its size okay so this one is a thorough uh, narrow glass tube glass this one is a glass stem which consists of narrow capillary tube and capillary tube uh, is extended to the thin glass bulb and this bulb consists of mercury whenever the temperature increase the level of mercury also increase whenever the temperature decrease the level of mercury also decrease and you can see it is ranged it is uh, marked on the scale on the basis of celsius scale from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius so the scale the scale of laboratory thermometer meter is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius okay this is the scale of laboratory thermometer it is scaled over here but this one is the scale and on so such type of instrument is very useful for determine the temperature between 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius because it has such a wide variety of range so this is very much useful for measuring the temperature between 0 degree to 100 degree celsius so that's why the range of laboratory thermometer is range of laboratory thermometer meter is 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so as you already know that children 0 degree celsius is the freezing point of water and 100 degree celsius is the boiling point of water. Okay, so this is the freezing point or also we can say this one is the melting point also. Melting 
point of water 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius is the boiling point of water so i hope that you have understand that what is laboratory thermometer what does it consist what is contains consist it consists of narrow capillary tube in the middle this one is the range of scale scale this one is the scale this hole is a glass tank this one is the reading we can do the reading here okay these all are the reading of different types of scale temperature this one is the mercury thread in between and this one is the thin glass tube which consists of mercury pure and dry mercury so here children we will study about how to use laboratory thermometer okay you have already studied about the uh, con what the things or how the laboratory thermometer is made up of what does it consist of now let us come to know about the use of thermometer laboratory thermometer how to use it and here is some of the instructions which you should follow while using the laboratory thermometer what are they the first one is observe the calibration on the stem stem which one is the stem as i told you children the thin capillary tube inside the glass stem this one is the whole whole glass stem and this middle capillary tube this is also only the stem only the stem this one so we have to first of all see the calibration of the stem means what is the level of mercury in the stem the level of mercury we have to see first the calibration of the stem we have to see first second one is find out the value of one small division these are the small divisions of the um, which is marked on the laboratory thermometer so we have to find out the value of a small division and it is always 100 1 degree celsius to 0 0.5 degree celsius it is always it is fixed either maybe 1 degree celsius or maybe 0 0.5 degree celsius so we have to find out it now the third one is suspend it from a stand with the help of hook so first of all you have to take a stand this is a stand you can see this is a stand children uh, this one is the stand and you have to suspend the thermometer with the help of hook this one is the hook and with the help of this hook you have to suspend the thermometer in the stand now the fourth is place a 100 ml beaker below it so let's take one beaker 100 ml beaker and just place on the stand just below the thermometer you have to place it here okay 100 ml beaker now you pour the tap water so that the bulb of the thermometer should dip in water so now in this beaker you have to pour some tap water you can take the water from your tap or hand pump or well well but any any water any source of water you can put it here in the beaker but in such a way that the bulb of the thermometer you can see this is the bulb this this lower portion this lower portion of the thermometer is the bulb and this should be dipped inside the water okay this should be dipped inside the water to measure the temperature it should not at the upper level but it should be dipped inside the water this you remember that now observe the mercury thread of it now you see where is the mercury mercury level of the thermometer you see that where the mercury is whether the mercury is increasing its level or decreasing its level or where it is in which scale it is okay observe the mercury thread now seventh one is rate the temperature on when it becomes constant so after four to five minutes you read the temperature when the mercury level becomes constant when you see the mercury is neither increasing or decreasing it is fixed in any temperature that time you see the temperature and record in your notebook okay record in a note copy and while reading temperature on the thermometer your eye should be at the level of mercury and read the temperature carefully whenever you are taking the reading of mercury your eye should be there on the thermometer on the mercury level otherwise the reading will be not correct okay so what i told how to take the temperature how to measure or how to use the thermometer first of all 
रहे हुए यू हैव टू टेक द यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ द थर्मोमीटर मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मर्करी लेवल ऑफ द थर्मोमीटर सेकेंड इज यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू स्केल दैट इज ऑलवेज वन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस द थर्ड वन इज नाउ टेक नाउ सस्पेंड द थर्मोमीटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ हुक ओके एंड प्लेस हंड्रेड मिली लीटर बीकर और यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक सम बिग क्वान्टिटी बीकर ऑल्सो जस्ट बिलो द थर्मोमीटर एंड पॉर सम वॉटर इन द बीकर ओके बट पॉर द वॉटर इन सच ए वे दैट द बल्ब ऑफ द थर्मोमीटर शुड बी डिप इन साइड द वॉटर बल्ब ऑफ थर्मोमीटर सो टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर प्रॉपरली एंड देन रेड सी द मर्करी लेवल वेर द मर्करी लेवल इज गोइंग Increasing or decreasing, and wait for some minute. After some minute, five to six minute, the mercury level will be constant. It will stop. It will neither increase or decrease. On that time, you record the observation where the mercury level is stopped or constant. You will write it on your note copy. And while taking the temperature, the mercury, your eyes should be on the mercury level. Okay. So by this, following these instructions, you can use the laboratory thermometer. so let's children start with the precautions what we uh, we should take while using the laboratory thermometer yeah uh, already we have studied about its uh, the um, materials which it consist and the second we have studied about the instructions how to use the laboratory thermometer now third one which we will study that is the precautions we should take while using a laboratory thermometer and the precautions are the first one the thermometer should be held vertical okay so here in this figure you can see the thermometer is vertical you should not keep the thermometer horizontal horizontal like this way you should not keep the thermometer in vertical way like this you have to keep the thermometer thermometer always should be held vertical this is the first precautions while using thermometer laboratory thermometer second is the bulb of thermometer should be well surrounded by the substance the bulb this one is the bulb this is the lower portion of the thermometer and this one is the bulb the bulb of the thermometer should be well surrounded by the liquid or the substance whose temperature we are going to measure okay the temperature of the substance or the liquids which we are going to measure should be well surrounded the bulb of the thermometer okay the bulb of the thermometer should be dipped in that substance this is the second precaution the bulb of the thermometer should not be above it but it should be dipped in that substance whose temperature we are going to measure now third is the bulb should not touch the bottom or side of the beaker the bulb should not touch the bottom of the beaker or the side of the beaker otherwise the temperature of beaker also can be counted in that okay that um, the temperature which we will measure will be improper will not in a uh, systematic way because along with the water temperature or any substance temperature which we are going to measure along with that the beaker temperature also be added so the bulb of the thermometer should not touch the bottom or the side of the beaker okay this is the third instructions third precaution now the fourth one is the reading of temp temperature should be taken without taking it out of the liquid so children as in cleaning a thermometer what we are doing we are actually taking the therm uh, keeping the thermometer in inside our tongue or inside our arm pit and whenever we have to read the temperature we are taking out the thermometer and then we are reading but in case of laboratory thermometer the thermometer should be in the water or should be in the substance whose temperature is going to measure we are going to measure it should not taken out while reading the temperature we will only see that when the mercury level will be constant when the mercury level will be constant we will just immediately take the temperature and that temperature should be taken uh, by not keeping out the laboratory thermometer from that substance it should be dipped in the substance as it is okay on that time only we will read the temperature of the substance now the fifth one is the eye should be kept at the level of mercury thread and yes as i have already told in the instruction 
that while taking the reading of thermometer your eyes should be on the mercury thread you see where the mercury stop the level of mercury stop becomes constant okay here in the narrow capillary tube it will be constant in on some of the scale and the scale on which it becomes constant that is the temperature of that liquid or any substance okay your eyes should be there carefully now sixth one is thermometer should neither be placed in very hot liquid nor in ice cold water so elaborate it is uh, the last precaution we should follow that the thermometer should not be placed in very hot substance or very cold substance okay so these are the precautions we should follow while using the laboratory thermometer